For this crochet project, I'm using my 4mm crochet hook. I'm also using my 3.75mm crochet hook and a tapestry needle as well as a pair of scissors. The eyes, the safety eyes that I'm using are by Fab Lab. I'd like the blue color that they have, the design that they have with this lab, and it's a 10 millimeter. Now you can use a 10 millimeter or a 12 millimeter safety eye. I wanted to show you the difference between the 12 millimeter and then you have the 10 millimeter. So the 12 millimeter I had a light blue clear and then with the 10 millimeter you can see the blue and black all around the outside of the eye just gives it a really cute look. The white yarn that I used is by Big Twist Yarns Rainbow Classic. You're going to have a lot left over if you just make these little puppies. You only need a little bit of yarn. And one of the puppies I used this yarn and then for my other puppy which I'm going to make on video tutorial, I'm using the same pattern, but I'm using this, I love this cotton yarn, white sparkle, so it'll have a little sparkle to it. So you'll see the difference. This is the Big Twist white, and then one of them with the same pattern, I'm going to use this white sparkle yarn. This white sparkle yarn is 100% cotton yarn. For the main color of my puppy, I'm using this Big Twist Gray. So it's exactly the same style of yarn as the white yarn, the Big T Twist white yarn. So I'm using the gray color as well. For the black colored yarn, I'm using my Red, he Red, Red Heart Super Saver yarn. So it's just a Red Heart Jumbo Super Saver black yarn. For the nose, I used my Suncatcher Craft Eyes 15 millimeter dog noses. So to start, we're going to use our 4 millimeter crochet hook, and you're going to use the main color yarn that you're using for your puppy. And we're going to start with the magic circle. So you're going to take your yarn, drape it across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers, hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Take your 4 millimeter crochet hook, go under those two loops around the middle fingers, bring up a loop, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. So if you need help with the magic circle, I have a separate video tutorial that can help you just practice only the magic circle. So that's two. three, four, five, and six. Then take your forefinger and your thumb, hold the base of the six single crochet. You have two loops on the opposite side. Go ahead and pull on one of them. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one is closing. Just gently close it. If you don't get it closed all the way, you can get it closed more later. Then take that loose yarn end and pull on that. Then you're going to turn your work, and we're going to work in the first stitch on the round. So you just take your crochet hook, go into that first stitch, and you're going to make two single crochet into the same stitch. So there's one, go into the same stitch, and make your second single crochet. So that's two single crochet into the same stitch, and you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches and then come back. So now after I finished 12 stitches in the round you could turn your work over and pull on that loose yarn end just gently to close up the center of the magic circle. Then you're going to get a yarn marker 
and I just use one of my scraps of yarn just place it right where you left off and we're going to continue making increase rounds which means we're going to be increasing the number of stitches in the round and we're going to be making four increase rounds that are consecutive meaning they're in order so for the first increase round you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch and then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch go ahead keep repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back so now you should have 18 stitches in the round I'm just going to close my center again it opened up just a little bit then after you finish that increase round go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off for the next increase round so what I mean by consecutive is the last round we did one single crochet and then in one stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch so for this next increase round you're gonna make one single crochet into two stitches and then you're gonna make two single crochet into the third stitch and then you're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back so you should have had 24 stitches after finishing that last round then go ahead and move your yarn marker up and for the next increase round you're going to be making one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the fourth stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so that last round should have had 30 stitches now for your last increase round you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker now you should have finished with 36 stitches in the round then go ahead and take and move your yarn marker up now you're only going to be making one single crochet in every stitch around so only one single crochet in every stitch so you're not going to be increasing the number of stitches every time you go past this yarn marker or your yarn marker you'll have the exact same stitch count if you don't then that means that you're doing something wrong so make sure that if you're a beginner that you have the same number of stitches every time you get to the yarn marker so when you get to the yarn marker come back and I'll show you what to do next so I've reached my yarn marker I've been making one single crochet in every stitch around so I'm not going to remove my yarn marker I'm going to continue crocheting one single crochet in every stitch around and then you'll see how the yarn marker will help you keep track of your rounds so I completed one round I'm going to keep making one single crochet in every stitch around until I've completed seven rounds and what you'll see is that you're going to start forming a cup that will form the head of your dog so seven rounds of one single crochet in every stitch so I just finished the seven rounds of one single crochet in every stitch you can see how I have the cup formed for the head of the puppy so now go ahead and just make a large loop for the back of the head and you're going to set this aside for now because we're going to make the snout and the rest of the face the pieces for the face now you can go ahead and get whatever white colored yarn that you're going to use and we're going to start with a magic circle just place it right across your four fingers use your thumb to stabilize and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb and I'm still using my four millimeter crochet hook I'm going to bring up a loop then yarn over, turn the hook upside down, go through the loop for a slip knot, and then place six single crochet into the magic circle. So just like we did for the head. And 
then you're going to hold the base of the six single crochet and then close up the magic circle. Then you're just going to turn your work just like we did for the head and you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around. And that will give you a total of 12 stitches in the round. I'll do the first one with you. So two single crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches and then come back. So now after you have your 12 stitches in the round go ahead and turn it over and then close the center of the magic circle. I'm going to go ahead and take my yarn marker place it right where I left off and we're only going to make one increase round you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so you should have finished with 18 stitches in the round then you just take and move the yarn marker up and you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Now after you finish your three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch you can go ahead and remove your yarn marker and then you're going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. So you just go into the next stitch over yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. Then go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the snout onto your dog. Now we can go ahead and place the nose onto the dog. So again, I'm using my 15 millimeter nose, Suncatcher Craft nose. And I use the magic circle in the center as a guide. And I usually put my loose yarn in that I left for sewing towards the bottom. And then I'm just going to place the nose right in one of the holes above the magic circle then you can take and turn the work inside out and then just place your safety latch and then just make sure that your nose is still turned the way that you want it Then you're ready to get some black yarn on your tapestry needle. We're going to make the little mouth that goes underneath. You're going to want to come in from the wrong side underneath to the front side in the center right beneath the nose. Make sure that you leave enough of a loose yarn end on the inside for tying a knot. Then you're going to go straight down Then you're going to want to go up along the curve to make the smile. Go back in right where you came out. And then you want the other side to be equal so it doesn't look crooked. And then you just tie a knot on the inside. Now you can go ahead and just set the snout aside for now. Now we're going to need the black yarn for the eyes. So you're going to take and make the magic circle. So by now you know how to make the magic circle. And I'm going to use my 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. So I'm using my smaller crochet hook, 3.75 millimeter. 
You're going to bring up a loop, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Now this time you're going to make four single crochet into the magic circle. So only four single crochet. And then you're going to close it the same way. Don't pull too tight as far as the center. And then you're going to make a slip stitch into that first stitch. So you go into that first stitch and then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. Then go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the black portion onto the dog. And then you need two of these. Now go ahead and set these aside for now. We're going to be making the white triangles for the eyes. So you're going to get your white yarn. I'm using my four millimeter crochet hook. I'm just going to take the white yarn, fold it over on itself to form a loop. Then you're going to put your crochet hook right through the loop. Hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb. Then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Go ahead and cinch the loop around your crochet hook. And then you're going to make a chain of five. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for one, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Go ahead and bring up a loop. Make your single crochet and then make one single crochet in every stitch back across. And now you have a stitch count of four. We want to make one more row of a stitch count of four, so you're going to chain one. Turn your work, and then you're going to go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, make your single crochet, so that's your second stitch, next stitch over for your single crochet, third stitch, and then the fourth stitch, make your single crochet. Now you're going to turn your work, so no chain one, just turn your work. You're going to go into that next stitch, make a single crochet, and that counts as your first stitch. Go into the next stitch, make a single crochet, and then a single crochet into the last stitch for a stitch count of three. Turn your work, make a single crochet into the next stitch and then just slip stitch into the last stitch. And then go ahead and finish off. And then you need two of these, so go ahead and make your second one. So now you have the two pieces that will go behind the eyes of your dog, but you're also going to need two more for the cheeks, so go ahead and make two more for the cheeks. You make them the exact same way. So now you're going to take your snout and you're going to put a little bit of craft stuffing on the inside and then you're going to get the same colored yarn as the snout or the long end that you left for sewing and we're going to position the snout in place. The first thing you're going to do Go ahead and grab the head, the loop that you left in the back. You're going to place it towards the back with the front facing you and you're going to line up the bottom of the snout. And we're going to sew the bottom of the snout first. So you just take and line it up with the bottom row 
and then just sew along the bottom making sure that you're keeping the nose straight. So you just go in and out sewing the bottom of the snout in place along the bottom only. Make sure that you keep that snout nose straight. Then once you've sewn the bottom in place you can take Make sure your craft stuffing, stuffing stays inside. And then you're going to count down from the magic circle on the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So under the sixth row is where the top of the snout will be. And then you just take your tapestry needle Make sure I'm on the right row. Make sure you're on the sixth row. Then you can take and just go and sew the top in place right along the edge, making sure that your nose stays straight. Then you can go and start sewing down the side of the snout. Both sides. The whole time you're making sure that the nose is still straight. And then you just go around the whole snout and make sure that it's sewed down. This is what my snout looks like after I sewed it in place. Now we're ready to sew the two triangles, the white triangles. So for mine, I took the short loose yarn end on both ends of the triangle and brought them in to the wrong side of the head. And then I have the long ends that I left for sewing on the outside of each. And then I only have like a stitch between the two white triangles. And then I sewed them down. This is what it looks like after I sew them in place. And now I'm ready for the eyes. So you just want to take your safety doll eye and then just go right through the center of that magic circle that you made with the four single crochet with the black yarn. Then you can go ahead and place the safety latch on the back. Then you just place the black portion onto the white portion, the white triangle that you made, and then you just sew it in place. You just go all around the black portion and then just sew it in place. And then just tie a knot on the inside. This is what it looks like after I sewed my eyes on. I love how these eyes look. And then I just wanted to show you the difference between the two eyes. So now, after you finish sewing the eyes on, we're going to sew the little cheek portion. So you go ahead and get your two white triangles, which were made the same way that you made for behind the eyes. I have my tapestry needle on the short end, and then the long end that I left for sewing is at the point of the triangle. So that's going to be off to the side. Then you just take and line up the portion on your dog and then just sew it in place. I'm just going to bring the short end through to the inside of the head. I'm going to tie a knot with that later. Then I'm just going to take the long end that I left for sewing. Or you can just get your um, same colored yarn on your tapestry needle. And then you're just going to sew this portion in place. So go ahead and angle it 
how you want. And then you just take and sew it in place. Just go along the edge with your tapestry needle. And then when you're sewing to the snout, you're just going to go right through that stitch on the, sn on the snout just because you want to hide the gray portion behind the white portion of the triangle. And then you just sew it in place all along the edge of the triangle on both sides. And this is what it looks like after you've sewn them in place. Now, there's another little trick that you can do with the eyes if you want to. I love how these eyes look, but if you want to just add a little bit more, you can see how I made the little side lash on one of my dogs. I'm going to show you how I did that. You just take your black yarn and then you come up right in the corner of the eye where you want the lash. Make sure you leave enough yarn on the inside for tying a knot. And then you're just going to go about a couple stitches over straight across and you can go one stitch over two if you want to. I'm just going to make mine a little bit longer on this one. Then you come through the same area and then I'm going to make about a stitch up and one stitch out and you can go out further if you want to but I'm just going to make one stitch so you can see how you can have fun designing your own unique little dog and then I'm just going to put two I think that's cute but you could put a third one down if you wanted to and then you just repeat the exact same thing on the opposite side then it just adds a little cuteness to the eyes now you're just going to go ahead and take and we're going to resume crocheting in the back of the head. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and we're going to start closing the head or making our decrease rounds. So you're going to make one single crochet into the first four stitches. So there's one. two, three, and four. Then you're going to make your decrease stitch or it's also known as single crochet two stitches together. Go into the next stitch over and bring up a loop. Two loops on the hook. Go into the next stitch over and bring up a loop. You have three loops on the hook. Go ahead and yarn over. Turn the hook upside down and go through all three for your decrease stitch. Now you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into four stitches and then your decrease stitch. So you should have finished 30 stitches for that last decrease round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then you're going to make your next decrease round which is one single crochet into three stitches and then make your decrease stitch or single crochet two stitches together. You should have finished with 24 stitches for that last decrease round. Now you can go ahead and place your craft stuffing into the head and then get ready for your next decrease round. So the next decrease round is one single crochet into two stitches and then make your decrease stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have a stitch count of 18 in the round and I'm not going to give the stitch count anymore because if you followed up to this point then you're doing it correctly and we're just going to keep closing gradually until it's completely shut. So for this next decrease round you're going to be making one single crochet 
into the first stitch and then your decrease stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. Then, this is how it looks so far, and you can keep stuffing if you need to. You don't want to overstuff it because then you're going to have huge crochet holes. So you just want it just enough to shape the head. Then, you're just going to take and you can leave your yarn marker in if you need to, but you're going to just make decrease stitches all the way around. So you just keep making decrease stitches all the way back around to the yarn marker. I'm just going to show you how I do it and how I hold the head so I have a finger inside to help stabilize. So I'm going to make one more decrease stitch, then I'm going to remove the yarn marker. And now, this is where you can stuff a little bit more in there if you need to, but now we're going to make slip stitches until it's completely closed. So you're going to skip a stitch, go into the next stitch over, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And I'm going to make one more and that should completely close mine. Then you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to just bury into your crochet work. Now you can grab your tapestry needle, put it onto the loose yarn end, and then you're going to go right in where you tied the knot come out anywhere, bring the yarn, loose yarn end through, and then sometimes I like to go back in and out again. And that just really secures that loose yarn end. And then go ahead and just trim your loose yarn end. And now you're finished with the head. You can set the head aside for now. I'll show you how to make the ears after we make the body. Now for the body, you're going to start the exact same way that you did for the head. So you're going to make your magic circle and you're going to place the six single crochet into the magic circle. So again, this is just like what we did for the head. So then you can go ahead and close your magic circle. And then again, you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches in the round. So just like the head, you're going to be increasing consecutively up to one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch. So you're going to start with the one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then you'll move the yarn marker up for the next increase round which will be one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the third stitch and you just keep increasing just like we did for the head until you finish one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch and then come back. So after your increase rounds you should have finished with 36 total stitches in the round just like the head. Now you're going to take and move the yarn marker up and you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around until you have a total of 15 rounds. So 15 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So after you finish your 15 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, then you're ready to close. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. For the first decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches.
and then you're going to make your decrease stitch or single crochet two stitches together. And then you just repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then you can go ahead and stuff the body with your craft stuffing and then for the next decrease round is one single crochet into three stitches and then your decrease stitch repeating that pattern all the way around. So we're closing it just like we did for the head. You can see how it's getting smaller and smaller. Now for the next decrease round is one single crochet into two stitches and then your decrease stitch. Then one single crochet in one stitch and then the decrease stitch. Then you just make your decrease stitches all the way around. And then when you come back I'll help you slip stitch it closed. So now you're just going to skip a stitch, go into the next stitch over, then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And then I should be able to make just one more because it's almost closed. Then I can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into the work. Then you just use your tapestry needle, go right in where you tied your knot, come out anywhere. And then again, I like to make a second pass through. And then just trim the loose yarn end. So now you're ready to sew the head onto the body. I just use the same colored yarn and place it onto your tapestry needle. Then you decide which side you want for the front and I'm using the side that I closed for the front and then you just place the head right towards the front of the body and then you want to make sure that the nose is straight or in line with where you closed and as you sew around the head you want to make sure that you keep the nose straight you don't want it crooked facing this way or this way unless that's the way you want your dog to look so I always like to have mine looking straight. And then once you have the head in position, then you can take your tapestry needle and then you want to go into the closest portion of the head near the body and then go down into the body. Make sure you don't stab yourself. And then just leave a long loose yarn end because you want to be able to bury this into your work. And then you can take, and you can always reposition the nose too, making sure that it stays straight. But if I come out on the body, then you're going to go back in about a stitch over on the body, come up through the head, and then come out right where you went in. That way you can go ahead and tie your knot. So make sure that it's still sitting snugly on the head. You don't want to have the head move. And then just tie your knot. Then you can take and reposition the head. and then you take your tapestry needle and then you go about a stitch over on the head and then back down and come out towards the front make sure that your loose yarn end doesn't get tangled reposition the head then you can take and go up since I came out on the body I'm going to go back in 
a stitch over. Okay, so again, my head is straight. And then I'm gonna go, since I came out on the body, I'm gonna go a stitch over, back through the body and up through the head. And don't worry if you have large stitches for the first round. The first round is basically just to secure the head. You can make several rounds of sewing once you get the head stabilized so it's not going to move. Then, here you can see I came out on the head. So I'm going to go a stitch over on the head, back down into the body and out. And what I'm doing is I'm just sewing all around the head and sometimes you may need to make several rounds. So I just continue to make sure that my head is straight and in the position that I want it. Then you can go a stitch over since I came out on the body back into the body and up into the head. The reason I do that is because if you go straight into the head, you're going to be able to see the yarn. If you go into the body first and then up, you won't be able to see the yarn. And that's how you sew the head on. So go ahead, continue sewing the head on and then come back. So once you're happy with how the head looks and it's sewed on very securely, I always end where I started and then I just tie a knot. And then you're going to bury your loose yarn ends. So with the loose yarn ends, what I do is I always go right back in where I tied the knot and then come out anywhere but I like to make a second pass and the reason why I do that now is because it's less chance for the loose yarn end to come out again here so it just makes it really secure and less likely for the loose yarn ends to show up again. So again, I just come out anywhere. And then I'm going to make a second pass. And then just take and trim the loose yarn end. And then that buries your loose yarn end nicely. Now we're ready for the piece that goes under the chin. So I'm going to show you both methods. I'm going to show you the one that I use the pipsqueak yarn and then the other one I'm just going to use the regular yarn. A lot of people don't like to use the pipsqueak yarn because it's a little bit more difficult to work with. 